All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mehta. Topic of the day, RSI. How can we use RSI as an indicator to make really smart entry positions on trades in a downtrending bear market? So this is one of the very few indicators that I think will go a really long way into helping you make profitable trades in a downtrending bear market. Let's get it. So I wanna pull up Matic and I suggest that you guys do the same thing because this will guys give you guys a really good idea of how to use RSI right now in this type of market. We're gonna come over to indicators. We're gonna search RSI, relative strength index. You can see right here, it, it pops up at the bottom of your screen. We're gonna maximize it and make it the full size of the screen. We're gonna come over to our settings we're gonna go into our settings. And since the downtrending market really started about 30 days ago, I want my RSI to be giving me readings off the last 30 days worth of data. If I go 125, it's actually giving kind of like mixed readings. I, I figured this out that it works really well in, in this situation. So we're gonna change it to 30. All right, squad, so you can see over here, I have the RSI under Matic. If I zoom out, and now we wanna be looking at Matic on the one hour. I find that it's the most profitable. All right, squad, so. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to split your charts in half on TradingView. By going up here to the top right, you see this little icon, you click on it, you choose the two layout. You come over here to the right and you double click on Matic. And if you haven't had, you don't have Matic added to your quick list over here, start a list, go down here, search Matic, add Matic to it. Now you see Matic over here, you're gonna double click it and that way it puts Matic in both charts. We have the RSI set up over here. We have our RSI set up under here. We de technically do not need this one, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like on a bigger time frame, And we wanna make sure we are using the regular candles. I find that the regular candles give you much better readings in a downtrending market. I use Heikinashi candles in a bull run. When I'm going out into a bear market, I like, I like to use standard candles. Now we're gonna come over here to indicators. We already added RSI. We got RSI on both charts. We have Matic on the one hour. We wanna make sure that we are on the one hour on both this side and this side, because sometimes they'll be different. So you wanna make sure both candles are the same and you wanna make sure both indicators are the same. So I wanna show you guys, what I'm looking at is I'm looking for key areas where Matic found bottom at and took off, right? And you can see right here at the 34 level, really good right here. So I can see 34 is really key. If I look here at the 34 range, 34.75, I'm gonna come over here. I see another one that touched here at 34.75, but I also see these really, really low ones at 31, 32, and then another one down here right at about the same position, right? Now if I look over here and I look at Matic on this chart, right, I can see right here, this one right here. What Matic was 75 cents, and where was my RSI? At 31 percent 32 percent now if we come over here and we scroll back a little bit farther on this crash right here when matic was 29 cents where was the rsi at at 31 percent now on the next one over right on this next little dump down right here where did matic hit 35 percent right so what what i'm trying to get at here on these flash crashes, right, where Bitcoin's dumping and it's pulling down these coins to crazy low levels, we can see right here on this dump down in the first one, Matic touched this position right here, but look where RSI was, right? RSI, when Matic came all the way down here on this dump, RSI was way, way oversold, right? Crazy oversold. On the next dump down, where was Matic at? Right here. So RSI, when Matic was right here, at this point, at this exact point on RSI right here, where was price at? $2.19, $2.21. So where I'm going at with this is when price starts to come to the downside, we can see Matic right here. Where was it at again? At about 54% right here. Price was now at $2 and then started to come to the downside. So we see RSI already at a level right here, it's at about 39%. So most likely when Bitcoin starts dumping down, if Bitcoin dumps down pretty hard, you will see the price and RSI dump down to these crazy low levels. Now, 
That being said, it's at 38% right now. If you see RSI touch this 31% level, that most likely is going to be an amazing place to go long on Matic. You probably could risk a decent amount and knowing that Matic and these altcoins go screaming after Bitcoin dumps, I'm gonna be looking to target the coins that normally go screaming after Bitcoin makes a bigger correction. So we know what happens with Matic, Sol, and Cardano now. So you can use this formula or this strategy. It's taking the RSI, setting the settings to the last 30 days, then going back and monitoring and measuring and seeing how Matic or any other altcoin performed during a crash or a correction. What are the key levels? So after a big crash, right? After a big Bitcoin dump, it normally goes up to, you know, let's just take a look at it. We take a look at Bitcoin and we see Bitcoin, when it dumps down and it crashes down to 31K, it'll go up to 43K, come back down, test this level, go back up, come back down, test this level, go back down, up and down, up and down, and it's working a zone, right? So most likely the next time it crashes, if it finds support at 31K or 32K or 30K and makes a push back to the upside, you most likely can see that Bitcoin's going to go back and at least push back up to 37 or 38. In that period of time, when you're going long on Matic, Matic most likely will run up 80, 90, 100%. So being able to snipe in at those lower levels and at a point, if you guys have seen the Mata method where I built this spreadsheet that shows you exactly when we wanna start DCAing into these coins at exactly what percentage off they are, the whole nine yards, every step of the way you can download this free from my website as long as you're subscribed to my channel. We can see that if I come over here and I type in, just say 260, I don't know what the peak was for Manic, I think it was close to 260. Our first DCAT level our dollar cost averaging level, where we wanna be investing 10% of our bankroll is at 78 cents. So on these dump downs, if our target entry position on coins is at 80%, I am okay picking up bags and holding on to those bags because that is a strategy. Buying in to coins when they are 80% off from the peak of this bull run, that is a strategy. Buying and holding on to coins when they are 20% off from peak of this bull run, going into a major bear market, that is not a strategy. That is poor trading. That is poor trade management. That is trading without a stop loss because anybody with a stop loss would have been taken out of that trade. We are going into a bear market. You are guaranteed you are going to see these coins less than their prices today and not just by a little bit. They're already 60, 70, 50% off, 70% off. You most likely will see every altcoin at one point in this bear market be at the very least 90 to 95% off. The only coins that I think might not hit those levels are coins like BNB, Bitcoin, and that's really it, honestly. I think a lot of these coins are going to be at least 90 to 95% off. So that being said, if you bought into Matic, 20% <laughs> off from peak formation, most likely that is going to cost you a lot of money. But this strategy now, you could be DCing in and re-entering trades on these coins and packing your bags in worst case scenario, if price pushes the downside and it never pushes back up again, it's okay because that was part of the strategy. So you wanna make sure that you have this upright. You gotta watch my videos, you gotta learn how this method works. And you should have no problem DCAing back into these coins, but it's all strategic. You need to have a set bankroll. How much do you wanna invest on Matic going into this bear market? And at this target level, your trade should be no more than 10% of your bankroll budget if it's 78 cents. Now, if it gets down here and it gets 80% off, there we go, 52 cents. So 52 cents is actually 80% off. If I come up here and I change this, this is 30. So that would be actually 70% off. If you started to DCA into Matic at 70 cents, that would be 70% off, 78 cents. So again, you guys need to make sure that even when you guys download this spreadsheet, I've got so much going on and I'm messing with these formulas so much, but just make sure your formulas are right. If it's 80%, it should be 0.2, right? So if you have over here, you want target your DCAT target one to be 80% off, or if you want it to be 70% off, whatever it is, you need to make sure that you have the proper inputs put here. And that's why I built the training video that actually shows you guys how to input all the formulas correct. That way, if there's any issues, you guys can come over here and customize these to be whatever you want. But I like mine 80, 85, 90, 95. All right, YouTube. So that's a wrap on the RSI in a downtrending bear market. Again, the meta method is available on ryan-meta.com. You can download it for free as long as you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. So when you ask for your email, make sure you're using the email that you used that you used to subscribe to the channel. So I love you guys. Hopefully this technique helps you guys protect those investments. I definitely think we're gonna see Bitcoin come down to at the very least 31K, 32K range, but 
very possible that this will be the push down where Bitcoin goes down to 25 or 22K, give or take. Keep those stop losses tight. Don't believe the FUD, guys. We are in a bear market. We are headed down. No question about it. Bitcoin may or may not go back up and test the 43 range again or it may go right down to 30, but more than likely it's going to go down and test 30 at the very least before it goes back up and test that 43 range. Love you guys. Keep those stop losses tight squad. Peace.